On the attack, John McCain leading the race when it comes to the robocall wars. Veronica De La Cruz joins us now with the tales from the web. And Veronica, it sounds like uh, some of these calls are pretty tough. Yeah, pretty tough. And they are getting uh, worse and worse. And uh, the blog's been reporting that the McCain campaign has been launching a series of these attack calls. Um, take a listen, Tony. This is what some of them sound like. Hello. I'm calling for John McCain and the RNC because you need to know that Barack Obama has worked closely with domestic terrorist Bill Ayers. The blog Talking Points memo claims to have documented four of these types of calls. They range from one that questions Barack Obama's patriotism by claiming he attended a Hollywood fundraiser instead of heading back to Washington to focus on the financial crisis. Uh, there's also a message, Tony, saying you can't trust Obama or Democrats. There's one that questions Obama's stance on abortion. And then there's the one that, that we just heard linking Obama to Bill Ayers. Now, according to a blog at Wired.com, the McCain camp appears to be using these automated phone attacks at a rate three times higher than the Obama campaign. Uh, Sean Dakin, who's an anti-robocall activist in Virginia, says he compiled data that shows the McCain campaign has launched 12 different robocall attacks in the past month and a half compared to Obama's four. The McCain campaign placed these calls to voters in Colorado, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New Mexico, North Carolina, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Obama's campaign has called voters in Kansas and Missouri. And, of cool. course, we got that off of Wired.com. Now, needless to say, Tony, people aren't really happy about this. Uh, we found this on the blog Daily Coast. This is uh, Laura Thorne in North Carolina. She writes, my 7-year-old daughter just answered our phone to hear a recorded call about Obama and terrorists bombing government buildings. Mm. She didn't know what was going on, and she got terribly upset. I pulled the phone from her hands and listened to the last little bit of it. It was disgusting. So, you know... What can you do about this? Yeah. Depending on what state you live in, Tony, some of these calls might be illegal. They may be violating the law. So uh, if you are being bothered by these automated phone messages from either candidate, take the time, register on this registry. It is the National Political Do Not Call Registry. You can register your home phone. You can also register your cell phone. And the web address is stoppoliticalcalls.org. Tony. Wow. Okay. Uh, Veronica, great to see you. Have a good weekend. You too. Yeah. I drop in.